Hello everyone. Today I am going to teach you about Bartholin's gland. So let's start. Bartholin's glands are two pea-sized glands, which is two centimeter and oval in shape, homologous to Cowper's gland or Bulbourethra glands in male. The Cowper's gland is also a pea-sized gland, which is situated inferior to the prostate. It is impalpable unless hardened or enlarged by disease. Located in the groove between the hymen and the labia minora at 5 o'clock and 7 o'clock position of the vagina. Posterior lateral to vaginal orifice embedded in the posterior part of the vestibular bulb, one on either side. Here you can see the Bartholin's gland in both sides. Here the labia minora, then underneath there is vaginal opening and in both sides there is glands and ducts. It is lobulated and resmos. The SNA become the SNA being lined by a single layer of low columnar or cuboidal cells. The duct is lined by multi-layered columnar cells, thus the surface columnar cells become flattened. When the duct is distended to form a cyst, an infection may sometimes result in metaplasia. The secretion of the gland is colorless and mucoid and has a characteristic odor. It is produced mainly in response to sexual excitement when considerable amounts are poured onto the vulva to act as a lubricant for coitus. The gland continues limited activity after the menopause. Now I will talk about Bartholinitis. In Bartholinitis, the Bartholin glands become blocked and there will be inflammation and it may cause pain. The causes are unknown but there are some causative organisms that may cause Bartholinitis like Gonococcus, Escherichia coli, Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, Chlamydia, Trachomatis and there will be also mixed types polymicrobial organisms. So the pathology. Both the glands and the ducts are involved. Epithelium of the gland or the ducts gets swollen. Lumen of the duct may be blocked or remain open through which exudates escape out. The fate of the infection may resolute completely or an abscess is formed. In others, the infection subsides only to recur in future. In such cases, the gland becomes fibrotic. Here you can see a picture of Bartholinitis. The glands become swollen and also red. End results of acute Bartholinitis are complete resolution, recurrence, abscess, cyst formation. Now I will talk about Bartholin's abscess. It is the end result of acute Bartholinitis. The duct gets blocked by fibrosis, means there will be development of fibrous connective tissue and it, it actually happens in response to an injury and the exudates pent up inside to produce abscess. Exudates are fluid that are protein rich and it leaks out from blood vessels and also deposited in nearby tissues. If left uncared for the abscess may burst through the lower vaginal wall. Now the clinical features of Bartholin's abscess. There will be local pain and discomfort. If become intense, person cannot walk or even sit. On examination, there is an unilateral tender swelling beneath the posterior half of the Labia majus expanding medially to the posterior part of the labia minus. Overlaying skin appears red and edematous. So in Bartholin's abscess, there is unilateral tender swelling. Now the treatment. Rest is imposed. Pain is re relieved by analgesics and daily seeds bath. Here you can see a picture of seeds bath. You have to sit in warm water in a bowl then systemic antibiotic like ampicillin 500 milligram 
orally, 8 hourly or tetracycline in chlamydial infection is effective. Abscess should be drained at the earliest opportunity before it bursts spontaneously. In case of recurrent Bartholin's abscess, excision should be done in the quiescent phase after the infection is controlled. Quiescent phase means inactive phase. Now Bartholin's cyst. There is closure of the duct or the opening of an acinus. Most common cyst of the vulva. There are two types a cyst of the duct, a cyst of the gland. The cause may be infection or trauma followed by fibrosis and occlusion of the lumen. Here you can see a picture of Bartholin's gland cyst. See, the Bartholin's glands are so swollen. The pathology. It may develop in the duct, which is common, or in the gland. Commonly, it involves the duct and the gland is adherent to it posterolaterally. Cyst of the duct or gland can be differentiated by the lining epithelium. Content is glary colorless fluid secretion of the Bartholin's gland and left gland is more often affected than the right, but both are often involved not necessarily simultaneously the clinical features a small size often remains unnoticed to the patient or symptom free escapes attention to the physician even following internal examination if it becomes large like size of hen's egg there will be local discomfort and dyspareunia dyspareunia means painful sexual intercourse the examination reveals an unilateral swelling on the posterior half of the labium majus which opens up at the posterior end of the labium minus. Its medial projection makes the vulvar cleft S-shaped. Overlying skin is thin and shiny. Cyst is fluctuant and non-tender. Now the treatment. Marsupialization is the gratifying surgery for Bartholin cyst. An incision is made on the inner aspect of the labium minus just outside the hymenal ring. You can see the picture of marsupialization. The incision includes vaginal wall and cyst wall. Cut margins of the either side are to be trimmed off to make the opening an elliptical shape and end off about 1 cm in diameter. The edges of the vaginal and cyst walls are sutured by interrupted cat gut, thus leaving behind a clean circular opening. Advantages of marsupialization over the traditional excision operation are It is simple, can be done even under local anesthesia, shorter hospital stay like 24 hours, post-operative complication is almost nil, and gland function like giving moisture remains intact. Catheter drainage of the abscess cavity following incisional drainage is a minor procedure. Here a small tube with a balloon on the end known as word catheter may be inserted into the cyst. The balloon is then inflated to keep it in place. The catheter stays in place for 2-4 to four weeks draining the fluid and causing a normal gland opening to form after which the catheter is removed when the catheter is inserted you cannot do sexual intercourse so it is all about Bartholin's gland i hope you have liked my lecture and if you liked it then give a thumbs up on my video and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button for more notification. Thank you everyone. Bye.